All right, hello, and welcome to Camel Finance. I'm your boy Camel, and pain, pain for the market. The SEC has rejected Grayscale's spot Bitcoin ETF application. So if you've been following the channel, I have been saying for a little while now that it seemed like this was the most chance we've ever had at getting an ETF approval. However, if you've been in the space any more than a couple of years, you'll know that these things, as I said before, are not something really worth getting your hopes up over and that has unfortunately turned out to be the case it would have been really nice to see one of these but of course we haven't got that plenty of futures etfs of course long and short now as well but no spot so no nothing settled in bitcoin and ultimately that is according to the sec for investors protection for our own good so i mean make what you will of that corruption at its finest but grayscale has initiated a lawsuit against the sec as it said it would there were i believe over eleven thousand votes letters of recommendation from institutional investors and alike from accredited investors supporting the conversion to an etf but despite that they have rejected it anyway so now they're going to get sued um will they win won't they i have no idea to be honest but I'm certainly going to keep watching the space and I'll keep reporting back. Meanwhile, although in Amsterdam, a Bitcoin spot ETF is launching next month, which is actually tomorrow, right? <laughs> yeah. Next month is tomorrow and, and, and the uh, ETF will be launched soon afterwards. So Amsterdam don't care. It's ridiculous, really. The SEC is a corrupt organization. Bitcoin is suffering sub 19K at the time of recording down five and a half percent for the day um if you've been watching the channel you'll know that we've been working on the assumption we're coming into this cycle low around day 60 now i've had this here because that's when i thought we would see it and then the etf approval date was supposed to be the day before on the 6th but if we measure this out from here then day 60 actually falls on the 11th you could argue the, the day before so 10th for 11th so what i'm going to do is i'm going to move this across to the 11th and then plus or minus 10% from there is six days. So if I go back six days, that would be the fifth. And forward six days to the 17th. So we should expect a cycle low to show up anytime inside of this window. Now, the, the thing everyone is convinced of is that we're going back down here to this, say, 12 to 14K range. But we could end up just having a double bottom we couldn't even make a higher low. We don't have to necessarily go all the way down here. Um, everyone seems very certain at the moment. 12 to 14K is where we're heading. And maybe we are. Okay, I don't know. But I do want to ask, is the 12 to 14K Bitcoin trade crowded? Are there too many people that are certain we're going there? Because if everyone is convinced that we're going down here, then we're probably not, right? Now, I don't know. Nobody does. But one thing I do know is we have over 80% chance of forming a low inside of this timing window. So between the 5th and the 17th, it's reasonable to expect we get some sort of some sort of cycle low form. So we'll be monitoring that primarily more than anything else. The dollar is currently bid, as you can see. So the big thing to watch here is, do we get rejected? Can we clear the prior high? Let's move this out. To line it up with the bitcoin cycle low as well um so now everything is sort of set now that we know that we're definitely not going to get a, an etf bounce that's sort of sorted our charts out and we won't won't be playing with them anymore just so you know um ethereum more of the same you know is it going to double bottom is it going to slightly take out this low or are we heading all the way down to what would frankly in my opinion be a big gift of a price level but are we going to get down here or not i don't know nobody does Capital continues to flow into the Bitcoin space. El Salvador is going to build a $200 million solar powered Bitcoin mining facility. So that means they'll be getting free energy from the sun and using it to mine Bitcoin. They already are harvesting the energy from volcanoes to mine Bitcoin. So they are going to be laughing in a few years time. I've no doubt about that. In the meantime, Michael Saylor has bought another $10 million worth of Bitcoin, which is around 460 Bitcoin. Probably says somewhere 480 Bitcoin. Um, and that gives them a total of just under 130,000 Bitcoins. So people are clowning on Michael Saylor a lot at the moment. They are making him out to be a terrible investor. And I guess he is underwater a bit priced in fiat. But his Bitcoin 
stack continues to grow and I'm sure one day he's going to have the last laugh. There is massive signal at the moment coming from the 10 year treasury note. Okay, this is the short term bond yields. We have broken down, retested and are now resuming downwards. So why is this so important? Why is this so massive? Well, bonds are beginning to potentially price in a recession, which means that the Fed may be getting ready to pivot to rate pause from rate hikes. And then this thread goes on to explain it. So you can go and check that out from Jordan if you want to see it. But make no mistake, bonds are hinting that a recession is, is already here. Okay, they're starting to price this recession in. They're starting to tell the Fed. The Fed can't allow bond yields to keep going. So either this has to come down or they have to print to force it down. At the same time, the risk on off indicator, there's only six times in history that we've ever hit the zero level. And we're, we're right there now. Okay, the other five times have led to exceptional performance in the stock market following this zero reading. So is this time different? Small trader put and call premium. We are way above even the C19 era. Okay, small traders are betting that we're going to see new lows. And whilst I think that there is another low on the table, and we'll get to the charts in a minute, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. People really think this is the end of the world and there's another 50, 60, 70% drawdown to occur. I just don't see it personally and the data I've shown you so far kind of points to that. And pertinent to Bitcoin, this is the highest total transfer volume in a loss ever and not just by a small margin. You can see this is almost twice as high as all of these other bear market lows. Okay, and including the C19 plunge, this is an enormous amount of people that are throwing in the towel. They can't take watching the losses anymore. They just can't take it. They're going to sell for a loss and move away. Move away from the space. They're going to leave forever. And so we look at the S&P 500 here. Um, we just missed our short off of here, but that doesn't really, I'm not too worried about that. Um, we can go short, I think now. I see no reason not to. Where's my short position? So we can have something like this. I don't think there's any chance that we come back up to this this region now. I don't think there's any chance. And I do think there's a good chance we make a new low. But I don't expect an enormous low from here. Okay, I don't expect like one of these huge moves down. I literally think that we are going to get a move into a 40 day cycle. Which would bring us somewhere over the next couple of weeks. Around the 12th of July maybe. So that's right in line with the Bitcoin cycle. So we'll put a, we'll put a blue line for there, shall we? Okay, so this is where I expect to cover my short. Now, I don't know where we're going to cover it, but it's definitely going to take out this low, I'd say. Well, not definitely, but it feels almost certain that we're going to tweet this low. So we'll put the short on today. I don't think it's likely that we get stopped out from this position. So we're going to ride the short down at open. That's one position. In the meantime, gold looks like it's going to do one of these stop sweeps and silver too. Silver looks like it's just about coming down and to take that out. So I'll have to go and check that in a minute, but likely that's going to be gone. But that's fine because we've got a very clear re-entry on this trend line break. We, if you've been watching the channel, we knew this was likely going to sweep this and then go. So we look forward to that. All of these cycle lows are starting to point to the same thing and then trend line breaks will get us in for confirmation. So. I've been saying this for a while, a little bit more patience is going to lead to some big setups. And I think we're getting there. You can see we're very, very close now. We've been close for a while. The same is true with the S&P. Also getting very, very close now. You know, a couple of weeks. What's the distance between here and there? Yeah, a week and a half perhaps. So more downside, but I'm sure we're getting closer and closer to a pivot from the Fed. We've got that marked in yellow here. Um, there's really not much you can do in markets like this apart from try to preserve capital. Don't take on extra leverage. Don't try to recoup losses or anything like that. Have a strategy and stick to it. But the bond yields coming off are telling us that the Fed is soon going to have to have its hand forced. Oil got rejected exactly where we wanted to see it get rejected. Okay, so now we need to see it lose this level and this could tell us to be open to a lower CPI print. So again, a little bit more patience is going to go a long way. Um, the second half of this year, I'm confident, is going gonna, is gonna to be a very profitable one. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, not trying to predict anything. Not trying to call any numbers. Can we go 14k on Bitcoin? Yeah, we can. Will we? I don't know. Neither do you, let's be honest. So in the meantime, 
trade safe out there um, if you found value drop a like on the video make sure you subscribe if you're not already if you haven't followed me on twitter please go and do that and until next time take care all the best bye